Welcome back to Too Hot to Handle. First time here. Oh my gosh, this is such a beautiful venue. The Mikazuki Casino is uh, really turning up right now. Yeah, no, and this uh, this tournament has been pretty pretty great. Uh, we've had a lot of good matches going on so far. We just came came right off of a really a really great match with MBD and Kashmir going to Game Five. Uh, Kashmir ultimately taking it, um, and we actually have some good ones coming up right now. We have a South Florida Classic. 8 Man versus Mr. Riddle, uh, yeah, newly is, married. One, one of the, yeah, congrats. <laughs> but this, these are one of the most uh, talked about sets coming up here only because they've known each other for so long, coming in from Raw. And oh, yeah. They know each other inside <laughs> it out, so let's see what they got now. For sure. Definitely a legacy matchup. Both uh, coming, playing Smash for over a decade at this point. Yeah, and it's crazy too, only because, you know, we're not seeing a Rob right now. We're seeing, yeah. you know, 8 Man Diddy, which has always been putting in work as of late. Since he's picked up that character, you know, we're going to see how he deals with Zero Suit. Since, again, you know, Zero Suit gives a really tough time for Rob. Yeah, not not surprised to see the Diddy Kong from 8 Man here. There was a long time for Smash 4 where he had never beaten uh, Nick Riddle ever. Like, he just couldn't win, and he says this matchup, like Rob Zero Suit, is like the worst matchup in the game in his mind. He just had a huge mental block. A lot of people. Main reason he picked up Diddy. A lot of people echo that sentiment. In New England, we do have Raffi X and Mars almost claiming the same tune, only because Mars does have uh, <laughs> that ability to just take out Rob so quickly, and consequently Raffi. Yeah. So Rob's definitely don't like the Zero Suit matchup, and Ape Man has now changed that entirely and made it a Diddy with Zero Suit matchup. So now we're seeing. You know, one of the classic top tier matchups of the game. Oh yeah, this was like this was like year two of the game, like every every grand finals. This was MLG. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, so we got wow. some pop gun shenanigans across the stage. We're trying to see how he can get into oh his head, God. and he accidentally landed on that up smash. So that will be the end of the first stock four. It, the up smash did look a little bit nutty, but it's actually not too crazy when you think about ZSS is neutral is super predicated on short hopping, uh, especially in a situation where he, you know he couldn't retreat. He either just had to sit there or spot dodge, which would get hit, or short hop, which at, would also get hit. And at 64, you know, I don't think that he potentially risked too much going into that because, again, there wasn't that much risk in pairing. Oh, in wow! Super good stuff from Miss... Mr. Riddle there. I don't even realize when he died the first time. No, I didn't even realize either. We were, we were too deep in the lore. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Suar coming in from uh, Panic Global. I'm joined here by Mask, and we just witnessed the first game of Mr. Riddle and 8 Man 2. South Florida Classics duking it out here at Too Hot to Handle. And, and this, this is winner side, correct? Yeah. Oh, no, this is losers. Ooh. All right, Freaking so TV. this one, uh, loser does go home. I mean, luckily for them, they don't have they too far home. to travel since we are <laughs> they are South Florida natives. Yeah, so this is in losers, and they're gonna go ahead and advance after, um, you know, because I believe these are two out of three matches. Four, three out of five. Three out of, three out of five? I see the three strikes up top, so yes, I'm guessing three out of five. Yeah, those uh, three, th those strikes being uh, innovated by Unravel Tournaments. I remember when they first took them out, trying to like not have the header be so crowded. Having those strikes there definitely makes it a lot easier. Oh, I like eyes. it. This, I'm really digging this overlay. Oh, I love it. It's very vaporwave. Okay. Vaporwave. <laughs> I need you to stop. <laughs> So Town and City, you know, probably, you know, Brett was going to ban a Triplats and then, the, you know, probably not going on Lila. This is probably the best choice for Nick bringing him over here. Ooh, oh, wow, and an excellent string. Uh, soft Nair back air into side B, and oh my god, he is playing like a nut right now. So interesting, again, for Brett to bring him here only because, you know, he is risking that lower ceiling, which we always talk about on Town and City, but... You know, we are going to see at least the platforms come in and out to aid him from getting down from oh, those combos. Okay. <laughs> got it. Lives to see another day. Getting completely stuffed out by the monkey flip kick. I'm seeing Brett being very comfortable, only because his approaches to Nick aren't, uh, they're not they're not hesitating so much so where, you know, with Rob, there was a lot of spacing that he had to, like, you know, control with Gyro, but we're seeing, you know, Ape Man completely in his face this entire round. Oh, no. Hit, hit. His Diddy playstyle is completely ignorant, and he will tell you. He said, "I just, I just press buttons when I play." He's like, "That's why I play this character. I don't, I am not afforded that luxury when I play Rob. I have to think too much and plan my moves." He's like, "With this, I just, I just go out." No, Rob is literally like a calculus problem, like just <laughs> from like start to finish. And Diddy, you know, no, no diss to anybody, but uh, you know, it, it's a little different. It's yeah. different here. Definitely a very dominant character when it comes to, uh, you know, just 
pressing forward with those fares. Yeah, and, and what I'd like to see here at least to make use of the low ceiling is Nick Riddle getting a grab at this percentage may result in a death, but taking the downer right there will reset back to neutral as they switch away from each other. Yeah, I think at this point, look, he's looking... <gasps> wow, that was, that was, was that really was nice. Bold. Banana Toss into up. He will take it, not even finishing it, only because they were so high and it just auto link frames just took him off the top. Oh, okay. Not too bad of a punish, Banana interrupting. Okay, so again, we're seeing Brett just in his face. Raw Monkey flips right after a grab. Maybe a little too late, but he did get punished for it, so... Oh, yeah. Banana being a homie. Gets the grab. Oh, opts to grab the banana rather than to try and follow up. So in this situation with Nick having such high percentage on him and thus like that rage factor going on now, Apeman Man does have to be careful and not throw out those uh, raw uppies just to ledge because he <gasps> oh. could potentially throw it on that. I'm wondering, he, he really likes having this banana. I'm wondering if he's going for a specific setup here. That would be very keen of Nick, but he did throw the banana on back, but he is trying to maintain stage control with oh. it, and he might get it! Oh! <laughs> 143. Oh my gosh, and that's gotta hurt. And Brett drops oh. his head, not in shame oh, or Mr. disbelief, but just in, you know what, that happens. Yeah. That happens. Alright. Both of these players have traded so many sets with each other, you know, this is just another day at work for both of them. So, mm -hmm. yeah. fortunately dying to Zero Suit at uh, raised percentages though, that's not the type no, of thing. No, doesn't, doesn't feel good, doesn't feel good. I mean, that is like that character's whole game plan. So, there's a lot of times when when you're playing Smash 4 where you're like, oh, this like one crazy thing happened and just killed me and it was totally lame and, you know, it just killed me super early. But it's almost like you can't complain like about that with Zero Suit because that, that character's you know only goal. Yeah. And it's difficult to really assign responsibility there because, you know, that whole time I did see Brett dominating a lot of their interactions, yeah. but Zero Suit being a punish heavy character, that's all she needs to close it out. Yeah. So it's difficult as you're gaining a leader, really just assuring her victory. In the end. So back to town and city. Surprised that Brett didn't ban it, but again, the other options are at least going to Triplat or Lilat. So I can see this being kind of the lesser of the three wow. people. And a confident Nick Riddle just getting a turnaround grab into up B, but not enough to get it off the top. Alright. Ape and Man getting caught sleeping there. It's really hard to get pivot grabbed by CSS. And he did it. Because <laughs> not only does it take longer to come out, but it's already a yeah. grab that, you know, <laughs> you know is very fast. Running past them. <gasps> okay, so oh, I, mad, man. I need Nick to relax because that <laughs> very uncharacteristic of him only because off stage up the rock trying to catch something, but he was at least predicting the monkey flips that Brett has been throwing out just in his face. Yeah, for some reason, Mr. Riddle, like the more he plays crazy, the, the better he does. <laughs> it, it's kind of weird. That's why whenever you see the Bowser and people are like, what, don't go Bowser, that's not going to work. I'm like, no, listen. It always works for very, some reason. Very interesting, only to make the comparison that him and Nairo both share Zero Suit as a main, but also Bowser is a nice clutch ah, counterpick. You know, when you think about it, it's like they do the same thing. <laughs> Let's get the grab, man. Okay, this could spell death, but Brett is not able to get out of it, dies off the top, and Nick is now potentially closing out the set. Yeah, Mr. Riddle following the DI inwards, excellently not letting him slip out there. Uh oh. Not enough. Alright, from zero, you actually can't get the up air combos. You'll actually be minus. Now it's online. Death Touch oh. is online, but the oh back throw God. sends Nick off. Pop Gun blocks his recovery from being able to tether. He gets back, and now he's going to try to see if he can get back on stage without getting two frames. But Did there's no two frames. Power frame there Shield? He, he Down Smash? Have, he, yeah, he didn't have any vulnerability, and he hit the last hit of that upbeat. That was very keen. No way. Oh. People in the venue are screaming. They don't want this to happen this way. Not the 3 0. <gasps> very bold. Very bold for Mr. Nick Riddle. Mr. Nick Riddle. <laughs> All right. Ape Man's playing like he's got nothing to lose here. I like it. Very confident. <gasps> Beautiful. Ah! Beautiful. All right. One more chance. One more chance. 
That was such a great sequence of events for Nick, and it just showed how well he knows his character as well as Brent. You know, I mean, this is one of his good friends, and they exchange, you know, practice sessions all oh, the yeah. time. So this is now really at their peak. <gasps> no! Got caught there, and Mr. Riddle going up over Ape Man 3-0. Uh, very good stuff to him, and Ape Man will be out. Uh, I don't know what place that would be like, 13th or something. I think yeah, it's gonna be 13th, being the first you know top 16 match we have here. Mm -hmm. That's that's gonna be it for Ape Man. But you know, yeah. great stuff to both players. I mean, we did see now, you know, potentially him working now his stamina for Diddy. You yeah. know, going into the rest of you know beginning next year. I mean, this year's already over. This season's almost over, mm -hmm. but. You know, he is starting to, like, really come to his own with Diddy. Yeah. You know, because it's really hard when you pick up another character. And this isn't, like, you know, his first day at the rodeo for, yeah. you know, 8-Bit Man with Diddy Kong. But, like, just as much as you lose with your main, you lose with your secondary. So great stuff to Mr. Riddle. Newly married. Congratulations once again. That's, that's good stuff. Man. Yeah. Oh, always a uh, learning process. And this will be great to at least review later. I know he's... um. Ape Man always reviews his sets, um, you know, trying to see what he could do better, so. Yeah.